What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, in case you guys missed it, last night we did a nearly 6 hour long stream on the channel to fully farm the brand new LR Babidi and Boo from start to finish. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty painful, it was, it was pretty tough, but shout out to everybody that was in the stream, you guys made it at least somewhat bearable. And today, it's time to find out whether all of that effort, all of those blood, sweat, and tears were actually worth it by doing a showcase of this unit on the Majin Buu Saga stage of Super Bad Road. Now, before we jump into the event, we're going to quickly go over their details for anybody that doesn't know what they do. If you guys already you know, know what their passive leader skill, all that stuff is, then feel free to skip ahead about 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, so starting with the leader skill, it's Majin Buu Saga Category Key Plus 4. HP attack and defense plus 130%. The 12 key super attack causes colossal damage with a medium chance of sealing super attack and medium chance of stunning the enemy. And then the 18 key causes mega colossal damage with a medium chance of sealing the super attack and medium chance of stunning the enemy. And then the passive is key plus 3 attack and defense plus 40,000 plus an additional key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 30,000. When the target enemy is in, is in attack down uh, or defense down status, is stunned, or the target enemy super attack is sealed and launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. And we also have recovers 5% HP at the end of the turn in which an attack was received. Links are Master of Magic, Thirst of Conquest, uh, Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, Fear and Faith, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. And categories are Majin Buu Saga, Joint Forces, Terrifying Conquerors, and Inhuman Deeds. So there you go guys, that is everything you need to know about this LR Babidi and Boo. And on the first rotation, we do have him linked up with his best linking partner, which is the LR Babidi and Zephora. Uh, as you can see, they share 5 links, actually 6 links with Legendary Power active. And I believe in total, they get something like key plus 4, uh, attack plus like 75%, defense plus 15% when linked together. So uh, obviously if you have the Babidi and Boo, or rather the Babidi and Tabora, then make sure to uh, run these guys together because they're really good for each other. Now starting with the defense, uh, we have 102,000 defense for the Babidi and Boo, 97,000 for Boo and Tabora. I mean, no, I'm getting the characters mixed up. The Babidi and Tabora, which is uh, okay. 102,000 is not bad, but we do need to be a little bit careful. In fact, what I'm going to do is actually put the Babidi and Tabora there so we can seal the uh, Majin Vegeta. And then we can attack Majin Vegeta with the full passive here for the Babidi and Boo. And uh, we'll give a super to Vegito as well. So, first attack, no items used. No support on rotation. We're getting supered. That's gonna suck. That really sucks. Uh, it's okay though. It's okay though. So we're gonna seal Majin Vegeta. That's good. Ooh, man, look at all that damage you're taking. Okay. Bobby and Boo, 2.4 mil. Attack stat. And we're doing 1.6 additional attack. And that's it. Okay, so I think we stunned Vegeta, right? If I saw correctly, I believe we stunned Majin Vegeta. We did, we did. Okay, perfect. And of course, we're taking not too much damage after that. Um, that was not a bad first turn, guys. That was not a bad first turn. Obviously, I wish that, you know, we didn't get supered immediately, but um, it's gonna be fine. We're gonna pop a Prince of Snake just to be safe here. And uh, now that the Vegeta is stunned, I don't have to worry about him too much. So why don't we go for the Goku? Let's try to actually take him out. So we only have to worry about one guy. See, with these like showcases on the um, legendary Goku event, it is always a bit of a concern, like, you know, with uh, dying. Like I don't want to die in the middle of the showcase and have to cut it short, right? So you gotta be a little bit more careful. I gotta think a little bit more than like one of those legendary Goku event showcase. Oh, speaking of legendary Goku event, if you guys missed it, the uh, new V Jump leak came out for this month for JP, obviously. And there's gonna be a new legendary Goku event with GT Gokus, as opposed to the 
you know, regular Gokus, which is kind of cool. I mean, I still want a, I still want a legendary Goku, or le rather, legendary Vegeta event, or a legendary Frieza event, or something like that, but it's a step in the right direction, for sure. Anyways, getting back to this showcase, uh, let's put the Bobbity and Boo here. And they have 134,000 defense right now because, of course, we have the support from the Super Boo, which is nice. And let's go for... Hmm. I'm going to go for Majin Vegeta. I'm kind of hoping that we can take him out so that I don't have to worry about Bobbity and Boo taking a, you know, type disadvantage super. But we'll see what happens. Okay, so... Taking a normal here for 10 damage. That's nice. 12k. And then I missed the attack stat. I don't know what it was. But over 2 mil, I'm sure. There's the super. Over 2 mil. He's still alive. Ah, oh, that sucks. Oh, you know what? Actually, we are going to kill him either way. So it's fine. He's dead, right? There's, there you go. He's dead. Okay, so, so far, what I would say from a damage perspective is, um, it's okay, it's okay, their damage is not super impressive, it's not super high, but it's not bad, okay? And then from a defensive perspective, quite good, I would say, yeah, um, I think their defense stacks up well enough to be uh, good enough for, like, most events in the game, for sure. Obviously, they're not, like, an amazing tank. They're not getting damage reduction or anything like that. If they did, then that would make a much bigger difference. But the lack of damage reduction, of course, does kind of hurt them, kind of hurt them a little bit. So you can't rely on them to be like a consistent tank for you, like a Golden Frieza or even like a, you know, Fizz Kale before she loses that damage reduction, something like that, right? So um, I would say like on both ends, like from offense and defense, they've impressed me, but. I'm not gonna go crazy and say like they they're busted because I don't think they are. You know, I just think they're a good uh, free to play LR, especially knowing that they're gonna get an Extreme Z Awakening in the future is is pretty damn exciting. So now we're on the second stage. We got a bunch of attacks incoming. Uh, we're gonna probably have to pop an item here just to be extra safe. So I'm gonna pop a uh, Icarus because obviously Kid Boo is uh, not gonna take those attacks well. Even with the Icarus, I'm kind of concerned honestly, but. This should help. This should help. So, we're of course going to go for the um, Gohan with the type advantage. And let's go for uh, Go Tanks. And we'll go back to Gohan with the Kid Buu. Okay, so now we have Kid Buu Armitation for that support. We're taking a super. We do have Icarus active, so this shouldn't hurt too bad. There we go, 19k. And we're going over 3 million attack right there. So I guess the other attack must have been over 3 mil too then. It must have been. Okay, there's the additional. We're finally getting additional attack. So 1.8 mil for the normal attack. And we sealed Gohan with the first super. This time we're sealing him again. Double seal. Doesn't make a difference, but um, nonetheless, we procced it both times, which is which is nice to see. Okay, and then we have Bobby and Tabura doing a nice amount of damage too. And of course, you know, with the item, we're, we're doing some good tanking. The only guy I was really worried about was this guy, right? Like, if Gotenks had supered him... Or actually, he still might super him, right? Look at that, man! <laughs> I brought Kid Boo for the showcase purposes, but like, dude, that could have been really bad. That that could have been, been really bad if we hadn't used an item. Okay, so now what we're going to do is... Uh, we can probably kill Gohan, but I kind of don't want to. What I think I want to do is save Gohan for the Bobbity and Boo. So let's go for uh, Gotenks instead. Let's just kill Gotenks this turn. And then Bobbity and Boo can finish off uh, Ultimate Gohan themselves. And I'm kind of concerned about this Super Boo. But we probably won't die again if we get Super because we're, we're close to full HP. So I think it's going to be okay. I think it's going to be okay. So at this point, you guys have a general idea of like, you know, what these guys can do, right? Or what this unit, this LR Bobbity and Boo can do. Um, I think some people are going to be a little bit disappointed uh, by the lack of damage. You know, lack of crazy damage output at least. Of course, they do have the medium chance to perform an additional super. So 
if you add up like the two attack stats, you're getting like, you know, 4 million or so attack per turn, but, um, you know, I understand why, uh, when you don't see like 4 or 5 million on the first turn, you might be a little bit underwhelmed because there are some free-to-play units we're seeing these days that can do that, right? So, um, I would say like, yeah, from an offensive and defensive perspective, they're good, not crazy, but good. But good. Okay, so now we're getting a 12k super because that's all it can really get. Um, so let's see what kind of damage we can get, uh, get out of this. We're taking normals here for uh, about 3k to 3k. Um, you might have noticed that the uh, Icarus effect is worn off, so we don't have any damage reduction from the items there. Additional, additional super. That's from the hidden potential system. I do have level 20 additional on them, and if you guys are uh, you know still not sure about how you want to build your Bobbity and Boo, I do recommend to go with more additionals than crits. You can do a bit more of a balance, right? You could do like 13 to 9 or like, uh, sorry, not 13 to 9, uh, 17 to 9 or uh, 14 to 11, wait, is that what the, how the math works out? <laughs> 14 to 12, I think, or something like that, like a more of a balance build than I went with, which is 20 to 6. But I do think that additionals should be more of a priority for Bobbity and Boo because uh, they kind of rely on your ability to stun or seal the enemy to, um, you know, get their full passive, right? So if you get that additional super, then you have a higher chance of actually getting the seal or stun off. So that's why I built mine that way. But of course, uh, the choice is ultimately up to you. That's a lot of attacks. That's a lot of attacks, but... Most of them are on STR Vegito, so we should be okay. Should be. <laughs> That's the key word. I mean, let me look at the defense real quick. Uh, 128,000 with the damage reduction, and then 187,000 for uh, Int uh, Kid Boo, of course, is the concern. But it'll be fine. Oh, yeah, this is the perfect person to get supered. That's the perfect unit. Good choice, Vegito. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, how much should we take? I didn't even see. We're okay though. We're okay. All right, guys. So last stage, of course, we only have to kill this Vegito, and then the uh, round is over, or the event, the stage is over. So now, how are we gonna play this? Uh, if I take these, what? No, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get all those his orbs though. Uh, if I give one to Bobbity and Boo, then we can access these. That's gonna be a full 24 key super. Unfortunately, the Dokkan attack is going to Bobby and Deborah, but that's okay. And yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Okay, cool. So we should be able to seal the Vegito, so we don't have to worry about supers. His normal attacks will still do a good amount of damage to us. I didn't pop an item this turn, but as long as we stay alive, that's totally fine. <sighs> Last night was rough, guys. I'm still a little bit like, I'm still feeling the effects, honestly, from that stream. Like, I'm not gonna do too many of those. The only reason I did it was because, like, we did it for Krillin, and I think people are just, like, you know, expecting that these days, right? Like, they want, they, they, they want me to, uh, make it a trend on the channel. So, like, I, I obliged, we did it, but it was, it was rough, guys. It was really, really rough. Okay, so now... I want to see, we didn't get a stun off, but we did seal again, which doesn't make a difference, obviously, but yeah, we got the seal off, and I'm hoping this boo doesn't die. Oh, we're good, we're good. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Very close. We got very close to dying, or we made it. And is there a way for me to not kill Vegito is the question. Um... Okay, so if I give these to STR Vegito, I give these to Ant Vegito, and only two. So everyone gets 12 key supers. We could still kill this guy, but there's a lower chance now. Um, I want to get one more attack from Bobbity and Boo. But I mean, at the end of the- uh, yeah, he's probably dead. He's probably dead. But at the end of the day, we, we've seen enough attacks, we've seen enough, uh, you know, tanking to kind of, you know, evaluate them. 
and overall, I'd say it was definitely worth the grind. Um, I wouldn't recommend people do it the way I did, which is to do it all in one sitting, because it's not supposed to be that way. You're supposed to take your time with it and do it over the course of X number of days. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you got the extra time, especially with you know an Extreme Z Awakening in the future on the horizon, it's uh, definitely something that's worth investing your time into. And yeah, that's all I gotta say, man. LR Babidi and Boo Showcase complete. The stage is over. And uh, that's the unit, man. Oh, we got the stun, nice. Of course, for Super Battle Road and Extreme Super Battle Road, this unit is gonna be very good from a like utility perspective because you know you wanna get those seals and stuns off as much as possible so that you don't take a ton of damage. So because this guy has the ability to do both, that's uh, gonna help a lot. And then from a defensive perspective, good defense. Not crazy defense, but definitely good enough defense for the most part. And then damage also is very solid. So that's it, guys. That is today's showcase, Rainbow, Bobbity, and Boo. Give me your opinions in the comments down below. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.